Welcome back to Only Talk Sports, where we talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, Donovan Mitchell, there's been a trade. He has been traded from the Utah Jazz to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, that's very interesting because the Cleveland Cavaliers obviously are in must-win mode right now. They want to win. They got all you know, you know, all the talent that they got, Evan Mobley, and uh, all the other players that they have. They want to win, and they uh, they made that clear with getting Donovan Mitchell. Now, the Utah Jazz are in the opposite role. They want to tank, I guess, preferably. I don't know if they're completely tanking, but they got rid of their two best players earlier in the year. They traded. Uh, Rudy Gobert to the Minnesota Timberwolves, and they got a lot of players, Jared Vanderbilt notably, and a few other players from there. And now they're getting from the Cleveland Cavaliers, they're getting Colin Sexton on a four-year $72 million deal, Laurie Markkanen, and they also get Osha Baji, the recent pick that the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers drafted. And they get three picks, three or four, I think, picks in the uh, for the drafts, most of them in the first round in future drafts. Now, who, was, who won this trade? Now, it's very interesting because currently, I would say the Cleveland Cavaliers probably won this trade. Colin Sexton's been injured. He's been hurt. Osha Baji's a rookie right now, and he's probably not going to contribute too, too much right now. And Laurie Marcan, he's a decent player, but he has not been elite. So again, for what the Cavaliers want to do, they won this trade right now. Uh, they want to win, and Donovan Mitchell is going to help them win with all the talent that they have on the team. They're going to be able to win right now, uh, and that they obviously want to compete in the East. Now, unfortunately for them, I don't think they have enough to win the East because the Celtics are elite right now. The Heat are really good. Uh, you got the Bucks, the 76ers are a little bit not on that level, but they're decent as well. So I don't think the Cavaliers are at that level, but they think they are now with Donovan Mitchell. Maybe they will be. He is a three-time All-Star, but I don't know for sure if they're going to be able to rise up to the elite of the elite of the East in the NBA. Now, again, the Utah Jazz getting what they get. Uh, Colin Sexton, if he can return to pre-injury form, he's an elite player. Maybe not an elite, but really close to elite player, and he's going to really help the Jazz. Uh, Laurie Marcane, again, decent player. Osha Baji, but the, the draft picks really helped them out because the Jazz are going to be able to draft a lot of great players in the future to rebuild the franchise. I mean, I don't love that they got rid of Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell. I think they could have tried to maybe get a, you know, they tried to do it with Mike Conley and they had like Joe Ingles and a few other players, but it didn't work out for them to win the West. Quinn Snyder, he resigned, and that's why all this is happening. But they wanted to win the West, and they were just so far behind the Golden State Warriors and now the Phoenix Suns and the Denver Nuggets when Jamal Murray was healthy that they weren't going to win the West. And I think now that Quinn Snyder's gone, they realize that, and they're unloading the talent that they had getting rid of Donovan Mitchell and getting rid of Rudy Gobert. Now, I, again, I think that the players they have, they have a lot of young talent now, and they're trying to unload Mike Conley and the rest of the older players that they have. And they got all the draft picks they're going to be able to draft in the future to try to win the West in the future. Again, right now, I would say that the Cleveland Cavaliers won the trade. But in a couple of years, I think you're going to see that the Jazz have won the trades that they made with the Timberwolves and the Cavaliers to get the players that they got to rebuild. I think the Jazz are doing much better with the rebuild than the San Antonio Spurs are. The San Antonio Spurs are in the gutter. I don't know what they're doing. They've traded all their good players away. And the, pe and the players that they have gotten in are not that now they're not that good so I don't know what the Spurs are doing but the Jazz did much better so again if you want to ask who won this trade in my opinion I will say that Donovan Mitchell the Cavaliers they've won the trade right now but in a few years you're going to see that the Jazz have made great decisions on their trades and they're going to be a much better team in the NBA in the future because of their decisions subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this comment down below what you think about the Donovan Mitchell trade and whether who won the trade whether it was the Cavaliers or the Jazz like this video, and I'll see you next time.